everyone this is hippie flower girl and welcome back to my channel so today we are going to look at how to prepare brown rice jars for mycology if you have watched my first mushroom related video then you would see how i prepared the argar plates that i inoculated with some liquid culture to get the mycelium to grow once your argar plates have grown enough and there is enough strong mycelium on it and it is all clean, then you would move on to the next step, which is your grain spawn preparation. And that is what we're going to look at today. So I have chosen brown rice uh, because this is a part of the Broke Boy tech that you can see on my blog and it's also on Reddit if you want to look directly from the source. So I've used this technique multiple times throughout the past. This is my preferred one. Um, and I do use a pressure cooker in this one because I wanted just a higher success rate, but you can also steam bath it. Um, another reason why I use the pressure cooker is my jars are quite large and my pots aren't big enough to hold enough so that's why i used my pressure cooker but you can do a steam bath it does work i've done it in the past multiple times so yes now uh, let's get started first we need to prep our rice so to prepare our brown rice we need a few things like brown rice a pot and a lid dinner plates paper towels and water so the first step is you're going to take a pot, you're going to fill it with rice, however much you need, and then you're going to add some water to it, just so that there's about like an inch of water above the rice. You're going to turn it on and let it cook. You should have cooked your rice so that it is like, I would say half cooked. I don't really know how to explain what I mean, but if you look at the rice like it is a circle, the center should be quite hard, but it shouldn't be difficult to bite through. And then the outside area should be softer, so like 50% should be soft and 50% should be hard, but not too hard. Um, and also none of the grains should be splitting because then it's overhydrated. So I think it's about between seven and eight minutes um, from when it boils. Your pots might be different and your oven settings might be different. So that is why I highly recommend tasting it and just feeling the consistency. It's better to have it more undercooked than overcooked since you are going to be pressure cooking or steam bathing the jars with the rice in it later on and that might add more moisture. So once the rice has been cooked completely, I highly recommend draining it immediately. This prevents the rice from soaking up more water and becoming overcooked. Then you're going to place dinner plates down, paper towels on them, and then your rice on top of the paper towels. And you can spread it out, so this is how, what my rice looks like after it's been cooked. It is still quite wet. I put paper towels on dinner plates and then added my rice, so I found that this decreases bacterial contaminations quite significantly because I am taking away any extra moisture that might go into the rice or that might stick on the outside or make its way into the jar and that will increase the likelihood of a bacterial contamination. Now for the jar preparation. So you're going to need a few things like glass jars, knife, rice, microport tape, aluminium foil and rubber bands. First, you are going to get a knife and then you are going to make holes in the top of your jar lids. So you can just, you can use a screwdriver here as well. I use a knife because I don't have a screwdriver. So you will just press it in and then you will twist it and then just bend the sides of the hole inwards so that they don't get stuck on anything. And then you will just repeat this process with all the jars that you have so that there is a decent sized hole in this. So we will be covering this hole with microbore tape and this so this is used for gas exchange so that um, oxygen and carbon dioxide can move in and out of the jar without any bacteria or spores coming in. So then you're going to use the micropore tape to just cover the hole um, and then yeah. So over here my jars are prepped and now I'm going to fill them with rice. So I used about two pots worth of rice to fill four jars. I think these are one liter each. Um, so yeah, I filled up five 
10 dinner plates in total um, to get this amount. You can use smaller jars. Um, my smaller jars were just being used for other things and that's why I use the bigger jars and that's also why I pressure cook them. So I fill up my jars about three quarters of the way. Um, I do three quarters because once it get colonized um, and you need to break it apart so it can colonize further or so that you can add it to your monotub you need space to be able to break up the mycelium that has colonized the grain because it's quite difficult sometimes. So yeah, I'm just going to fill this up and uh, once we're ready, we'll move on to the next step. So here's the next step. We're going to take foil and then some rubber bands and we're going to tear pieces of foil. You can cut them as well. I just prefer tearing. And then you're going to cover the jars with the foil. We do this, this helps with sterilizing the jars um, and it prevents anything from entering it as well as allowing for oxygen exchange. So you're going to place it on the jar and then you're going to use a rubber band to secure it. Um, so I usually tie it twice over the jar lid and then you will see I kind of loosen the jar a little bit like this and this just allows uh, for less pressure to build up since we are going to be opening the jars later on. So I'm just going to repeat this process with all my jars um, before I pop them in the pressure cooker. I do recommend removing any labels off of the jars before you put them in the pressure cooker because they do come off. Now we are going to sterilize the jars. So you need your jars that have the rice, paper towel, pressure cooker, and water. If you don't have a pressure cooker, you can use a pot. After I've prepared the jars, then I will sterilize the jars in a pressure cooker or you can do it in a steam bath as well the time is the same so in a pressure cooker it is uh, 90 minutes my pressure cooker is 15 psi um, it is linked in the blog post that has all of this information step by step as well as my results and observations that i made throughout the process so I've placed my paper towel in a pressure cooker and then put the jars in there and the small jar is some agar that I'm prepping and now I'm putting about 1.5 liters of water in here. You will fill up the pot or the pressure cooker up to like two thirds of the way. Once your pressure cooker is full with water you can turn on the stove, make sure it is clicked and closed. And then you need to add that thingamajig, I don't know what it's called but that has, helps to build up the pressure, don't forget it. And then I put it on. I start my timer once the pressure cooker starts making a noise. Okay, and that's the end of it. So thank you so much for watching and please subscribe if you like the video to follow for more. As I go through this journey, I will be experimenting more and I will try different techniques. So if there's anything that you would like me to try in the future, please comment down below and I will give it a try. And then, you know, like this video, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and then join me here next time. Thank you. Bye. Please follow me on Instagram.